If Rex doesn't come in, then well, that's on him. But like uh, the focus dummy or the combo dummy, like the, the the body dummy. If you just take a step in front of one of those, right, and do a like a, just a light tap on it, you'll see that it gives a like a light blue thing. Put a little more oomph behind that, you'll see the color changes to red. So for a quick snap jab, it could go and uh, it could vary from being light damage to heavy damage. So you gotta kind of the harder you throw, the more guaranteed it'll throw off a heavier punch for sure. But at that same point, though, you, like real boxing, the reason why they have it like this is so you don't try to throw every powerful strike you have. Plus, you also gotta think: the harder you throw your punch, the slower it'll take uh, it'll spin a bit. So, for instance, if you take and throw your hard punch. You put more energy into that one punch and you kind of slow down everything and you stop focusing on the whole just for the one. And it, it, it really don't work all too well. Not in my opinion. I've done it before. It doesn't work too badly, I'll give it. But in comparison to just fighting... Uh, you have uh, Donnie or Adonis. He's uh, well rounded, and then Kevin Nash. Or it's Bobby Nash. I need to stop calling him Kevin Nash. <laughs> I have a bad habit. Uh, arrow boxing? I don't think so. Oh, no. Not yet. Ah. The reason why I take residence here, here is not because of the idea of boxing or the competitive league or because I'm good at this, I'm bad at this. I play this because I'm not sure if you realized uh, while uh, watching some of what I do. But for the most part, I think you've realized a common trend of characters I tend to choose. It's not because of stat. I've chosen any, you can name any character in this roster. And I will beat you as I have done it with everybody. Am I better with some? For sure, for sure. Am I worse with others? 100%. However, I have a handful of people I like playing as because those are the people I grew up watching. So when I go and play the Rocky characters, it's not just because, oh, well, Apollo's overpowered like shit. No, I play as Apollo because, well, I love Apollo as a character. That, that, that's how I look at it. So that's why I play this game is not because of the fact of uh, anything more than I see this as Rocky. That's it. Uh, I don't think I've heard their name. I don't have to remember the name. Oh, well, sure. I think I fucked that up in text, but oh well. I'm trying to. I was also trying to type Rex to see what's going on, or to let him know. Uh, so, uh, you want to create the room, or you want me to? It really don't mean no difference to me. All right. Uh, if you if you want, that's fine. I've been called the cheater for being the room host, so let's see let's see if uh, the advantage won't help somebody else. Whenever. Five, seven, nine. Damn, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm loading. Now, be before we get going, uh, how much, uh, I want to know a little bit about you. How long have you been playing? Just, just a rough estimate. Yeah, I don't need an exact date or... About a couple of years. You, you, you are on and off for the last couple of years is what... Okay, well that's fair. Oh, so you didn't play the uh, Rise to Glory 
You played only that. Oh, so you've been... Mike's? Oh, yeah. I kind of wish they bring that back. I honestly think that would be a better idea. I've noticed players get a lot more toxic without the mic. I'd rather have somebody talk shit, act like they're king shit, compared to slitting throats, which is a death threat. In a lot of places, illegal. You cannot threaten to kill. That's that that's that's not right. Like you can't do that. Yeah, the whole thing. I'd rather go on. I've seen the whole jack off. I've actually seen people. I've never actually seen anyone do this before I start doing this, but the teabagging. Yeah, I, I don't agree with it. So, uh, are you a fan of Creed or Rocky or any of the movies or? But. Oh, no worries, no worries, no worries. All right. Um, at the moment, no, because I just, they're, it's all connected to subscription-based programs like Peacock and stuff, isn't it? I don't do subscriptions. I have only one, subs or two subscriptions, that's it. I refuse to get any more. Yeah, no, that's... I don't watch it because A, I don't see anyone really sticking out, and B, I mean, I don't care to see what people are looking like, because, I mean, I don't want to get into that quote-unquote boxing politics or whatnot, like, I, the uh, fundamentals of uh, doing that, like, like, um, that's just how I go. Now, uh, do you know who Carl Weathers is? Carl Weathers. That's, uh, that is the actor to Apollo Creed. Yeah, he, yeah, he passed away. So, before, uh, we get started, I'm going to go and make a few things clear this week. 100% to honor the former legend, I would first... Announce it don't matter who I'm playing how or not who I'm playing but how bad I'm losing how good I'm winning no matter the results today as long as someone else has not picked him I will remain as Apollo Creed to honor our former champ 100% Number two I'm gonna go and take a moment of silence to honor our former champ too Because the man the man earned it so I mean I'm just gonna I think it's only a respective thing to give the man a moment of silence Uh, yeah, just give me the room code and I'll take and, uh, then I'll go and give uh, the man his respect. Alright. 9 2. 3 1. 6 9. Alright, good to go. Oh no. Funny enough, my entire play space is, to be honest, my entire play space is kind of one of these mats. Like the little blue mats we're on, this is pretty much all I get. So everything, like, that's just how good I've gotten with uh, being able to duck and weave for the most part. So. Oh yeah, most definitely. If you could capitalize on my, uh, I can't, I don't really get to walk around too much or step side to side. The idea to step side to side is kind of ridiculous anyways. It loses footing. But I'm going to... Hey, hey, we ain't killing me again. Alright, he's already dead. We don't need to insult the man. Alright. So, I'm going to just give our legend a moment. And yes, I'm going to kneel down for the man. Because, you know, fuck yeah, that's what we're going to do. Or at least I'm going to do. You don't have to follow suit. But I'm going to give a moment of silence in the name of Carl Weathers. All right. All right. So, do you know the rules to fight night? Did you uh, take a uh, chance to read those yet? All right. No worries. I am more than happy to explain them. So, with how fight night works, is depending on how many opponents we have in tonight's night. Assuming like Rex has not been, uh, has not showed up, I have not 
heard my phone go off about him, and I have not heard him enter in the uh, chat party on PlayStation. He has until we get to our second overall fight to join in. Otherwise, I'm going to call him a no-show, and I'm going to just... He ain't going to be here this week. He's not going to be entered. It's a fair amount. I've waited over... I've been here for 37 minutes on this game. Yeah, no, I've given a fair, fair amount of time. So if he hasn't joined by now, I mean, that's that's on him. So uh, I'm in my 20s, early 20s. You know what? You're, an, you're a little older than I am, but hey, I'm 21. 21, that's how old I am. Yeah, 21, early 20s. Yeah, we're pretty close in age. It just comes down to physical ability. So this is how it goes. Because, uh, like, this fight night used to belong to one of my uh, trainers, uh, Chevy. I've, I've, heard, I've talked about him quite a bit. Greendale is the one to have originally started this. And because he's not here and he's not on a quest, I took him the liberty to take over the fight night on his behalf. Until he upgrades or whatever it may be. Oh, no, he's been, uh, he hasn't upgraded yet. He's only a PlayStation right now. Yeah, yeah. But pretty much, so we'll come out. It's going to be a tournament style. Every week. Every week we'll do this. So yes, it gets exhausting. You see other Fight Night crews, they'll go and fight maybe once a month. And they'll do ranking systems and shit like that. And that's just overcomplicated and stupid, if I'm honest. You ain't real league, and even if you were, it's like you put in too much energy into it. And you're making it way too easy to defend your belt. Hell no. So we do it tournament style. It'll be best two out of three fights, every person. So you and me, we'll go best two out of three. Let's say there's another set of people and another set, like uh, six players in total. Or there's eight players. I'll, I'll simplify it with eight players. We'll all fight. It'll be, you know, the 1v1, four times. The winner of each of those will then go and split, go down, and then keep going from uh, best two out of three every time through until you hit the championship match which will be the final two players standing which then you will have oh go on go on I was going to say and then it will be the best three out of five so it really is a test of endurance it's not like one of those yeah I got best two out of three yep fuck you I'm out of here no it's you're going to have to earn your right yeah it's going to be it's one of those quick and easy ones and yeah a lot of people go and do that it's like nah we don't do it here so before every fight night, when like in our first sets or so or whatnot, we go and do a warm up match. If someone's been waiting a minute, we'll give them another warm up to let them get their get back in the fight. So before we get started here, do you want yourself a warm up? Get yourself going. You don't want no warm up. You know what that that works to your advantage and against you. That's one hundred percent. It's all strategy. I've been going at it for about thirty seven. And that's another rule of fight night. Anything goes. There's only a couple of things that do not go. This isn't an actual rule he created. This is something I myself have put into the fight night. And that is the intentional low blows. The intentional idea of going below the belt. It's one thing if you're in the heat of the moment and you accidentally, you know, you know. Oops. Ah, uh, nah, you good, you good, you good. But it's one thing to accidentally or, you know, you're trying to go for the ribs or something and... If it's off, I'm in the idea that you will stop and go for it. It's like, when it's very clear, it's, uh, I'm trying to disrespect you. The general idea is to keep Fright Night as friendly and as, is supposed to be as welcoming as possible despite the fact we're all opponents. Otherwise, you could use any fight stance you want, anything goes otherwise. If you have a cheesy ass method and you think it would work, use it. Hey, you know what? I face that. I face quite a bit, so I'm kind of interested now. All right. Oh, oh no, no, it's good. You're good. You're good. All right. All right. Square into his opponent. That knocked him around. What a shot. Apollo really showing off his power with that blow. You could really move, I'll give you that. Apollo delivers a solid hit to his opponent. 
Very nice, you can move. <laughs> You're pretty fun so far, I like this. Giving some good uh, workout here, you get me going. What an angle. There's an angle. He might make an opening. Ooh. I can't tell if that was strategy or if you let me up. Very nice. <laughs> you look pretty fly if I'm honest. I think you're starting to realize why I'm champ now. <laughs> I think you're realizing real quickly why I beat so many people. Oh no, I think you re I think you realize you're gonna have to kick into second third gear now. Oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. Like I said, very nice. You're doing very nicely. I'll give you that much. Oh, he did come. Oh, yo, Rexy. This guy, he's fucking good. This guy's fun. You, you know how yesterday, uh, you know how yesterday or the last couple of days we have a, a mystery guy come in and he's been talking about wanting to fight? He, he's good, he's good. Oh yeah, he's fun. That blows sends Apollo stumbling towards the ropes. Oh, uh, well, right now, right now it's, uh, he decided he don't want the warm-up this week. And so we're on one out of two. Or one out of three. Five, the current standing is three six, to two. Three knockdowns for him. Like he has been knocked down three times. Round eight. Knocked me out twice. A hard punch from Apollo. Apollo lands a good hit. Very nice, man. That was very well done. I haven't had to work that hard in a minute. <laughs> Very well done. Hey, look, man. Hey, look, as far as I'm concerned, the champ don't compliment too many people. After match, you know how many people's like, who does stick around? like, yeah, and I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. You ain't worth it. Look, I have not worked that hard since... For a minute, for a minute. I mean this in all the respect to get or for Rexy, but hot damn, Rexy's predictable. You... I think some of the reason why I couldn't take you on as easy and why you got me a little worked up and why I can't breathe as much and you can hear me a little more than usual is because I don't know you and I don't know your style and so now I'm having to put that together I'm trying to push or uh, put you together because you're you're very well balanced I've noticed you don't just use your uh, offense when you go for defense you look like you know what you're doing for the most part I'm like oh I'm like, you're slowing me down. You are making it tougher, because once I could hit that stagger, that's a whole nother story. But, ah, damn, you definitely got some good moves. I'll give you that much. But, like I said, or like you said, you're not out yet. It is best two out of three. You, one, you could easily make a comeback. I guarantee you, you could. Oh, no, you good. Well, um, you want, what's, uh, what you say? Um, we can figure out who you're fighting in a second, Rex. All right. Uh, no worries. I don't know that, uh, guy who's number one who took my ranks. I'm not even going to give him my flurry dummy. He don't get that right to say he's number one on that.
Oh uh, no, yeah, flurries can work if you if you could catch me with it. Oh, saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. I'll give you that much. Yeah, no, that uh, guy who took both my scores, he'll be losing that shit. I'll, I promise him that much. He'll be losing it soon. Apollo showing some great technique with that blow. Apollo drives a hard punch right to his opponent. I don't know, this guy's doing you a favor, Rex. He's wearing me out. He's doing a hell of a job. PlayStation. Fucking work for once. For the most part, after fighting Spartan, because his defense is so incredible, most defense I have learned to break. As long as you keep moving, it'll make it tougher, but if you hold something too long, I'll break it. Oh, you're doing great, Four, man. Five. Uh, no, every every everybody needs it. Everybody. Some muscles are <laughs> oh, you were you caught my uh you caught my slip. Usually that throws someone off. It didn't work on you. I'm surprised. Most people, when they go and have that happen, like, what? You don't get like, waking up. I'm surprised you caught me doing that. Because when I turned around, you were already facing me. That was very well done, man. You should be pretty damn proud. You should be very proud. If Even though you lost... That was great, all right? 100. There's no doubt you can have what it takes to be a champion if you work. 100%. The more you work at it, I guarantee you'll take me down. You have what it takes. All right, shoot me. Oh, man. Oh man, no, uh, you good. <laughs> uh, no, you, you fine, man. So, this is how this goes. Now, you have a chance to redeem yourself for the championship round. Because there is three of us, I have started and uh, I've changed up the rules a little bit. Normally, the winner of the first match gets to go out and they will move to the championship round in a 2v and a three situation. The loser will get the chance to fight the person who didn't get the fight. If that loser wants to fight. If you want a redemption match, that is your chance. It also proves and makes sure that the, uh, it keeps somebody from getting the freebie if the, the losing party wants a freebie. So for instance, since, uh, like obviously the, third party, the third fighter, like if you and Rex were to fight, or you and Spartan, or whoever it was, was to fight first, and I didn't have to fight, oh yeah, I would take the uh, easy way out, and I would go straight to the championship. That's why it's up to the challenger, if they want that. Because then that's like, yeah, the, the, the guy up there would obviously be like, yeah, I'm gonna take the easy way out instead of earning his way through there. 
It's twice the work for sure. But sometimes the extra work makes all the difference too. The choice is yours. You had me on the ropes there. You had me focused. I'll give you that. Oh, not this one. I don't know when this started. I started a couple of weeks before the uh, Tommy Gun update came out. The science uh, or whatever update. I've been playing the original, the Rise to Glory on PS4 for about a year. Or for over a year. And if you recall anything about PSVR or you heard anything, the tracking, everything on that was shit. <laughs> 100%. And we tripled the scores that the current dummies have. So the flurry dummy, the score, that the top rank score, not even close to what we have on PlayStation. I, like, Rexy took some screenshots of them, and he might be able to share them onto a Discord with us. So you, or actually the Discord should have the scores on them. I remember posting the scores on them. Yeah, I put the Discord scores up there too. On the, uh, uh like, uh, the old scores are now up there, immortified. Just so everybody gets to see what we used to do, or what happened, because... The game itself is dry, and that's why the, uh, like, me, Rexy, that's why we upgrade it. It's because the game's dry, and it takes over, like, an hour, maybe two, to find one fight. Um, not, not, I have not directly faced anyone before I learned, or, like, before they went on the leaderboard. So, like, uh, for instance, like, uh, let's say the focus dummy. I don't give a shit what it says. Let's be frank, is not keeping that score. He got lucky. That chump is lucky. I want him, and I want his, I'm taking that score. This is what made us so good, is that 800 score is going down. He's going to learn he's not the best. He did that out of spite, and he's going to lose out of spite. And it's going to be the funniest thing. Because me and him, we fought 18 times. He lost every fucking time. And I will continue bragging that up. That he has my score, but he has never beat me. I don't care how good you think you are. If you never beat that guy, sure, you took the score, but you don't have the oomph on that player that play you took the score from it don't matter until you beat that guy you ain't got shit so I'm more than capable of taking that score I'm just not gonna give him a I'm gonna crush him with my next score I plan on going into the thousands with it shit like that I'm crushing his uh his will to take it back that's the idea um no I haven't the people uh, that I have faced that's leaderboard right now would be Rexy, because he went up there. Uh, on the focus dummy, you could see a guy in 18th place. His uh, name would be Kriggs. Me and him, oh man, we faced before. 100%. Me and him, we fought and he was good. Like this guy, he had me surprised. He was one of the first few people who who was actually like, oh shit, this guy's for real. Granted, he's not as high, but he is also somebody I went and brought into the game and helped train up. I feel like there's one more guy up here that I uh, trained up. I just don't recognize the name or I can't, it won't ring a bell. But I'm pretty, I'm responsible for bringing in some of these people and uh, getting them to where they're at. Oh, no, I mean, I used to. I used to, actually. Usually, like, uh, you can see in the Discord, I add it in a bio section. Like, uh, this comes with your achievements. Everything you've achieved, what you consider an achievement, you put in there. It goes with your fight style, if you want to put which, uh, if you use Southpaw, like your credentials, if you may. That's what it is initially in, uh, is in there, and it'll tell you exactly what I am. I used to be a flurry fighter, still am. But I only do it when I deem necessary. I've noticed flurry fighting, it's, it's not a bad method. Well, it, it seems easy. It seems easy. How, when was the last time you tried it? 
When was the last time you tried it, though? <laughs> well. Alright, so. Be, yeah, be. Uh, that's a question. I forgot to. Uh, I don't think I heard your answer. So, are you wanting to take your redemption shot, or are you good? You want to fight? Oh. Okay, so it looks like you're going to be fighting today, Rex. You're going to be doing double fights. So, all right. So, who, which one of you two want to make the room? It really don't mean no difference. He, uh, Rex, he said you can make the room. Give me the number. I'll send the, uh, I'll let him know. Um, he's the flurry fighter, if I'm honest. <laughs> Like, I'm not even gonna lie. You are a traditional fighter. You fight traditionally. You will blend more defense. You're quick in your offense. You're good on your defense. And you can blend the two pretty good. I'll give you that. You're a traditional fighter in, uh, from what I noticed. I, if you want to classify yourself as a flurry swarm or traditional defense, whatever you want to classify yourself as, that's 100% yours. Um, I I'm just saying, whatever your fight style is, I've noticed you're more of like a traditional. So you're traditional, he's flurry, no one gets the advantage above nobody, I made sure both of y'all knew what each other was, I'm not cheating for nobody, I want to see who's about to take the win. I really want to see, because you really were that good, I want to see if you could take down the former champ. I say former, because he's a two-time champ on uh, PlayStation. So let's see what you got. 2-1. Nine seven two nine. No, when it comes down to refereeing like this, I'm not gonna be no bias. I will, I will tell it exactly how it is. If you are going to be, uh, if you want to ask questions about our fight styles, that's all on you. However, don't be afraid for me to go and uh, say what I've experienced. Oh no, you good? You good? At work, we all good. Y'all together? Alright, good, good. Like I said, I, this has already been set in stone. I'll be taking Apollo for the winner. Um, I don't know who he's playing as. I just know. Shit, you said Mexican. Are you talking about uh, Axel? The skinny guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's taking on Ramirez against who? Who do you who you chose? You chose Apollo, didn't you? <laughs> nah, I will say I'm taking advantage of the break here. <laughs> I'm gonna get my bearings back together, you guys. That's all I'm hearing is, oh shit. That's funny. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm i actually excited to see you two learn from each other. I'm excited to see how well this turns out, if I'm honest. Well, like you said with the flurries, you there's methods around it. The reason why flurry fighters is okay in my eyes is not just because I myself use it, but because of the simple fact that, yeah, it seems extremely easy, but when you start using it, trying to keep that going well, is a pain in the ass. Trying to I'll not, like, that's where a lot of people uh, take in a go and take that shit for granted it's like nah that's cheap no you in gotta think about the corner. negatives of it i remember putting a uh, fighter informational about all four main fighter types in game and you can fight and... oh he's doing really good oh oh man i told you it's an interesting fight between you two i told you it would be i'm kind of interested to see this you're you live, Rexy? You heard my instructions in the dressing room. Ah, uh, no worries, no worries. Ah, uh, man. One to one so this far, damn. Round, 
contenders have a lot on the line. I don't see anyone bound down early. Oh, they are coming out strong. Apollo. Try something else. Apollo isn't letting anything through. Oh, he's got he got you. Who knows? Did you you might have to clean your Oculus more often too. Or your uh PS. I, I, ain't, I ain't trying to say I told you so, but I told you so. He should have went with the quest. I tried telling you. Look, the PSVR really is limited, and it does have a lot of bugs. Apollo delivering a clean hit. What a hit. Apollo is a complete power. As a reminder, it'll be a best two out of three. And then whoever's gonna be facing me will be three out of five. So what's the official win rate so far? Well, I, well, I mean like, has it, is it one zero officially or? Um, well, shit, I should have asked that. Do you want to count the first one as a wa well? Did you have yourself a proper warm up, Rex, or? Not really. Um, shit. Um, good question. So, that first fight. Uh, did you want to count, or uh, you want to count that to Rexy for a uh, warm up, or and call it a null and void since uh, it was never, never issued, or what's your opinion on that? I mean, we could always go and say no warm-ups this uh, week, too. No one gets nothing. I think this is the best way to put it. Dang, I'm getting my ass booked here. If Apollo thought this was going to be an easy fight, that last round proved him wrong. Apollo's dying out here. The fuck you talking about? Apollo scores a quick hit, but a light touch like that isn't about to knock anyone out. Eh, sometimes that's just how it be though. Damn. 
<laughs> well, I mean, I feel you. I have. To, I'm sitting down on the charger right now, actually. <laughs> I forgot to plug in. I forgot my battery pack, and I was on it yesterday. I mean, you could at least finish that shit. Come on now. Nah, nah, you finish that shit, bitch. Win, lose, you finish that, damn it. I don't care how much battery. Unless your hand goes out, finish that shit. I, I fought Fight Night without my hand before, damn it. I lost my belt to Spartan without a left hand. Two to zero. Two to zero? Okay, well, shit. Okay, never mind. I can't say nothing then. Oh yeah, no, I mean shit. I told you this guy was good. I wasn't joking. You think I would thought I was trying to upplay this guy? No, he he has experience. Like he uh Yeah, he said he played a couple of uh years off and on throughout or off and on throughout the last couple of years and it proves. It shows. I think he got so used to fighting those no names, I think he now realizes that uh I think he's realized why uh we've got those scores so high. I think it's starting to make more sense here. Oh yeah. Oh man, well if it means anything at all man. If it means anything Rex. At least we know we're not the best players in the game no more. At least we know we got a challenge out there. Oh, man. I mean... Well, I mean, worst comes to worst. When it comes down to it as well, this is something I like to remind people. As long as you, uh... As long as they're cool with following the simple rules I've put into the Discord itself... And is more than okay with following those rules. Anyone's allowed to join Fright Night. It don't matter if they're good. It don't matter if they're bad. If you deem that they could be fun to go and add to Fight Night. Or whatever reason you have for adding them. As long as they're cool with uh, wanting a challenge. And is going to be a contender. Someone who's willing to go to be a contender. Not a little bitch. I mean oh yeah for sure you could add anybody at any time. So if you found that, like that one guy who uh, you fought that you said uh, beat you pretty good, I mean, oh yeah, I mean, most definitely. If you want to add him, for sure, if you ever find him again. I don't mind that you start recruiting. Um, yeah, this guy that, uh, he's the guy who, uh, he's the first guy to write in the, the challenge tab. Like the fight request. Yeah, he's the only one to write there. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, no, he definitely was. He's definitely good. I'm gonna actually learn your name. I'm flat out gonna learn your tag. Because your tag is gonna be. Alright, let's see. So, it's called Versace, right? Oh, Versace. I'm gonna call you Ver. <laughs> because I'm too lazy to learn to actually uh, pronounce that shit. Because, yeah, I'm too young for that shit. I'm too old to be doing like that. I'd be too lazy to be learning people. Especially since people tend to come in and get solved. That's usually how people work on this game. Oh, man. I could think of a couple of possible theories, because I don't want to upright call people cheaters, because that itself, I find not, it's not a bad thing, it's just personally, I just think that's kind of unnecessary and kind of toxic to instantly throw out a, uh, to throw out to start. I like thinking about the possible, the possibilities of possibly he was using the, the buttons instead of the joystick. A lot of people rely on the joystick and they forget that you could run with the buttons. They don't swap between the two. Or he 
Like, you can move quicker using the buttons. It's just more of a pain in the ass to learn to walk correctly and to use the button walk. It could be a bit of a pain in the ass to uh, learn that. Uh, I'm talking about, uh, like, he made a mention about how there's some guy teleporting around and, uh, he was hard to touch, if not untouchable, and stuff like that, and I'm like, I agree something like that seems sus, but I also like trying to think of possibilities of what it could be, instead of, uh, that too. I mean, I like thinking of possibilities before calling them cheaters, because even if they are or are not cheating, the second you acknowledge they're cheating, guarantee you they're going to try to jump up on that and act like you're the saltiest bitch, even if they are or are not, but I don't think I've ever actually seen a way to cheat in the game. Man, I don't care how good he thinks he is. He hasn't found me yet. You, you know what that kind of sounds like? Arrogance. That's what it sounds like. I don't care how good you think you are. I don't care how tough you think you are. I don't think... It don't matter about none of that. Because it's not about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you could get hit. And keep moving forward. How much you could take and keep moving forward. This guy, he sounds like he's pretty much had, uh, he, he's had a couple of people, easy opponents in IRL. He came here, fought a bunch of kids. Man, I think he's tough shit. I know because everybody who used to be good, like myself, Rexy, I want to say maybe Wolfpack, or not Wolfpack, but Chevy. Spartan, all of us. I guarantee you, at one given point, we all thought we were king shit. Until we met our match. Until we met our match. Every one of us got our ass beat, got salty by somebody. I think for Spartan, I think it was Mob420, if I recall correctly. If I recall Spartan saying so, that's the guy who humbled him. I think Wolfpack humbled Spart or Chevy. Chevy humbled me. Uh, Spartan's currently on PlayStation. However, he's made remar uh, comments and he's talked about coming to Quest or on Oculus this sometime this month or sometime soon. He just made a mention about uh, the holiday season has been busy, which is a fair thing. I mean, I don't like uh, you, you know how it is. You said you're 22. You're you're older than I am. We both are in our 20s. Yeah, we're both in our 20s. We've been working for a few years now. We know how hard the holiday season could be, so I could understand that. 100. Plus, money's tight. He has a uh, family. So, you know what? I'm not in no rush for him to come back. Partly because I want to keep my title and I'm afraid for the man to come back. <laughs> That's how good it is, is. I respect the man enough to want him to come back. And I love the challenge. But I'm not done yet with being the champ. I want him to come back, just not yet. Not until after I took the longest reign on game. I don't know how long the title's been held by a single player in our Fight Night crew, but... That's the goal right now. For, well, for now, quest... Well, quest nice, quest-wise, right now, out of the seven... This is the seventh quest Fight Night, or Saturday Fight Night. This is number seven, and so far... I'm not saying that it's, uh... That is mine. That is... I haven't fought you the second time yet. I'm giving you time to cool off. Take and breathe since you went two opponents back to back. I've sat here for a second and managed to catch my breath. So I'm trying to be uh, considerate and let both of us catch our breath. I'm also trying to charge up my headset just a tad bit so we could, so I don't die mid-fight. uh, mid fight. Yeah, because that, that'd be lame to have to go on postpone the rest of the fight night for later or to try to go and be like, yep, you lost by default. No. I'd rather go and at least sit here. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I thought I should have been more specific about that. Yeah, no, it's always in the afternoon. We always start in the afternoon. On Friday, it's at 4 p.m. your time. 5 p.m. Uh, my time, and uh, I don't... I think, like, 9 or some shit, uh, Rexy's time. Now, I got 30%. Uh, I, I'm up in... Uh, 
like in the indie. Yeah, in that general. Yeah, we're pretty close, so. I mean, I don't mind exposing the general state. I don't plan on staying in the state anyways. Not for too much longer. And even if anyone did manage to figure it out. Oh, oh no, I mean, I mean, there's creepers online. There's creepers online who listen. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee you, the second they walk anywhere by, if it's not the seven dogs that chew your ass up, I know my uh, nine mil will. The choice is yours. All right, you're ready? All right. All right, hold on, I need to unplug that. Well, it's charging for a minute. All right. Five, five, right? Oh, shit. Oh, fucking have to reset my shit. I need to fix up Spotify, too. But, I mean, yeah, that's just how it be. Let's see. Right. No, don't create room. Join room, it will be five, five. Uh, right now, because Fight Night's small, this is the extent of what we could do. Five, five, eight, nine. And seven, six. Right, you main Drago or something, or you know, funny enough, I was told I was best as Drago, but I love Creed. That's why I also main Creed. I learned to main Creed out of love, not out of uh, stat-wise. Everyone chooses Drago for stats, and I'm like, your stat won't mean nothing. All right. Oh well, in those close games, oh yeah, for sure. But when it comes. Oh yeah, when it comes down to it, oh yeah, for sure. Some people, it does matter, but when you're fighting somebody who fights a lot like you, who comes down to being close to you, it comes down to actual ability. All right, so like I said before, Simple Works is gonna be the best three out of five this time. We'll go back to back, that final fight. So let's say you win two, I win two. That final fight, I will disable rounds. There will be no rounds. If you want to keep them up, if you're the last one to choose, you can keep them up. But keep in mind, if it looks like I'm um, two out of three, I will start disabling rounds on my behalf. Like, that's just how I roll. That that way, it keeps the pressure. It keeps you. It's no saved by the bell. It comes down to pure raw skill. No, oh, I got lucky type deal. No, it's no excuse. It's there. That final round. Or at least once it comes down to the possibility, it's done. But best three out of five, anything goes. Try to, I like saying, to keep your punches legal. Holy shit, there it goes. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, talk to Smack's part of the fun. 100%. Oh, 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 I see. I want you, chump. And the rules, I also stated trash talk is allowed. Just trying to make sure to keep it uh, in reason. So if someone's starting to take it personally, shit like that, that's when I was like, okay, back the fuck off. Oh, ho, 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 ho. One of uh, we were like fuck this and went into a slugfest right there. We didn't care. One, oh, for sure, for sure. Two. Oh no, you want some more trash talk? You want some more trash talk, chump? Creed and quote that. Apollo looks like he's going for the knockout. Oh, you think you're gonna be the first one to take my title? Oh, oh, 
He's serious, he's serious. Oh no, you good. You want some good trash talk? I got some shit for you. You claim to take my title? I'm gonna take your fight night virginity. Oh yeah. Watch me. Watch me. See, keeping a PG, you could throw anything you want, I don't care. As long as the other person can tell you are 100% in the spirit, in the mood for it, I'm cool with it. If someone gets offended, then that's another story. I also kind of forgot to mention a small little skill that I kind of have, kind of use, sometimes don't. It depends on how good my opponent is, or how much of an ass they've been. I call it the combo breaker. For every consecutive punch I can land on you, I get faster with every punch. One hundred percent. That's that's very nice. Oh, you blocked a lot of my punches. I got a little aggressive that game. <laughs> like as per usual. Let's see. I hit a total of 116 times. You hit a hundred and I think 121. I went and tripled the staggers and tripled the downs. Oh, very nice. Oh man. That, that's what I'm looking for. That's what that's what makes fighters so incredible. Because every fighter in this ring, we have all went from being sweaty, tired, exhausted, ready to just put our arms down and lose. But every one of us instinctively is like, no, we're not done yet. Why is it not changing? Maybe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back off Creed and re-get on him to change clothes. Maybe that might work. Like as an exhibition fight. A solid hit by Apollo. Apollo back. Oh, please hold them back during fight night isn't a part of the question. I want my belt. During fight night, I will not hold back. Out of fight night, different story. Also, I forgot a small little rule, but after my controllers knocked each other, it reminded me of, uh, this is another big rule in match, and this will be followed. I don't care who you are. Any and all injuries sustained during the match, your opponent must break. If you do not break, you bounce for an immediate disqualification. If you have a pre-existing injury, let's say I already have, like, let's say I sprained my wrist and I heard it while fighting, like before fighting, that is 100% on you for getting in the ring, and that is exempt. But if I, if I busted my hand open right now, and it's bleeding, whatever reason I hurt myself, there must be a break. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, something like that. I just want to make sure to, I forget to mention that rule because I'm not too many new players, but. Oh, uh, no, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Cheap shots, do whatever you need to do to win. Because every strategy has a downside. Every strategy, every fighter has pros and cons. So once you learn how each fighter works, you will learn when to go and take and you'll learn. And it's not and the it's not dirty in the slightest to take advantage of those rules. Oh damn, I knew it was coming. Like I'll tell you the greatest way to take me out. As a swarm fighter, I like throwing punches. If you could get me to back off into defense, keep me on defense. Apollo 
My defense isn't the worst, as you've seen, but you could tell it wasn't the best. Your goal is to keep me out of stamina. My character is out of stamina, I can't fight. He'll start lagging behind, and once he lags behind, I'm forced to lag behind. Conceal that speed. Like right there, when I had to wait. That's the, that's the best time to do it. There. I was trying to wait for my hands to come back, but stuff like that. That's strategy. That will not be held against you. No rules, no hold bars. That's the way I like it. That's the way we like it. It's a true challenge because that improves your downsides. Oh, very nice, very nice. I've had people try to push my, uh... I've tried... I've had people try to push my, uh... Stanima. And to no prevail has it worked. People's tried to go and exhaust me before a fight or try to keep fighting me hope I'd exhaust. That's not gonna work. As shown, I've thrown more punches than anybody. And I would... Oh, it's just bad. The flurry bag is actually kind of easy once you kind of learn how it works. I run two miles every day to get to work. I do it. I do it every day, and I run back every day. Stanima is the, in the name of the game. Oh. oh, oh, that's right there. That's why I would have turned off the rounds. I would normally try to go sw uh, basic tactician swarm you, but right now, no, I just want I'm ending you before you have that chance. Cause I've noticed once I let you get that chance, like that, it's done. Once I give you that opportunity, I'm done. That's why I'm not giving you no chance. That's what a swarm fighter does, is we swarm you and keep you pressured. As long as I'm pressuring you, I'm good. His opponent wide open. One, two. You're doing great, though. I'm surprised. Yeah, you are still coming straight ahead. You are like exhausted. I can tell you're exhausted, but you're still trying. Goal of a swarm fighter, Three, my main goal, four, and I'll let you know this so you can try to improve that. Since there, are, it's hard to find a proper swarm fighter. I was closer. I'll give you that much. I'm surprised I didn't go down the second time. Haha, <laughs> nah, you good, man. You still wanna go. <laughs> oh man, he's still wanting to go. So, I hate to let you know this. But, uh, your Fight Night virginity belongs to me. <laughs> I wasn't joking, but you did a great job regardless. That was a hell of a fight. I haven't had to push that long in a minute. I haven't had to go and make a random fight style in a long time. I've been... Oh man, Green. Oh man. If you're watching Green, he wants you. He wants you. He wants to fight you, chump. 
He's looking to fight green. Oh, man. That would be it. Hey, yo, uh, Rexy. Who would you think would win? This guy? Or Chevy? Oh, shit. And yeah. Yeah. Now you see what I mean. It, it would be a close call. The two are quick. The both have good defense. These two are... They really are a match made in heaven. These two will back-to-back -back each other. I don't know which one would take the lead. I want to say, professionally speaking, from what I've fought in from both of the two, I would go with green. And there's one reason I'll go with green, and that's a very simple reason. Stanima level. It's Stanima, that's it. Stanima has more... Well, this guy's pretty experienced too. I'm not counting experience out, because this guy kept up with you for about two years off and on. Yeah, Chevy's been fighting just as much, but you gotta remember though too, Chevy also, uh, like Chevy's got one of those things that's like, Chevy has the stamina. It's not about the experience. Both have experience, 100%. This guy has stamina, 100% has stamina. Or like this guy don't have the same stamina level. He will burn through it way too quickly, in my opinion, but then again, he might actually fight green and realize Green's not as quick of a fighter as you and I, so he might actually slow down. So, it's, a, it's an interesting fight. 100%. Okay, I'll give you one more, alright? Alright, like a, every fight night, it's always in the uh, Discord. After fight, or after it goes up, I'll post it as quick as I can. Oh, there we already have our champ. <laughs> this is just an exhibition at this point. Now that it don't exactly matter to me. I just gotta realize I'm like, nah, fuck this. I've spent my energy. It's been how how much time I have been. But I've been on here for an hour and a half fighting. Yeah, no, it looks like both. I have 15 on mine. So I don't think I'll be able to fight you. He's on 4%, so we're... <laughs> Will he regain his footing? This is Fox and Adam. One, two, Who knows? three. I uh, know you're good. Damn, I got that stupid uh, air duct sound again. Like that glitch where it just keeps playing the air sound. You know how the game glitches and you can still knock out some. Oh yeah, it's kicking in the third gear. The closer you get me to knock down, the more I'll go and the more I'm like, nah. My pride will come in, it's like, I can't lose yet. Exhibition or not, I will not lose that easy. Oh. 
That was close. <laughs> the game's like, nah. The game said no. Oh. I'm tired. It's the first fight night I have been tired after fighting since we've started. I've lost my edge. Whew. Whew. Huh. I am. I'm burnt out. I have not faced that hard in a minute. I honestly thought you would have had him. When he first talked, I, I thought he was going to be easy. But it turns out... He's not as easy as it sounds. This is why we don't get cocky. This is why you shouldn't get cocky with your opponent ever. And to think... I probably could have gotten a lot farther and he would have had a lot more trouble if I didn't have Cocky on my side as Apollo. Because in all reality, he probably would have got me a lot more if I wasn't quicker. Stat-wise, he would have won. Physically, it, it was closer, but it was my stamina, endurance, and the experience that got me the win against him today. He should have used the red, the yellow and red shorts as Drago. Then he could have at least killed me and he would have had plot armor and he would have won. That was exhausting, 100%. Oh no, I've got 12% on battery. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, his battery died mid-fight. We were going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We were... We were about to go and like it was told uh, it was three three exhibition fight, and during that exhibition we both came running out to each other, and he froze. We were nailing up to each other, about to charge each other, and the game's like not nah, not today. Um, well, I'm on the charger right now, but the problem is, is I also gotta have a little bit of, uh, I gotta have a little bit of charge time as well. Yeah, that. <sighs> oh, yeah, you and I didn't fight today. Oh, shit, I thought we did. I spaced it. You know what's actually kind of funny is last night I stayed up a little, like I was up at 1 o'clock in the morning, like, oh no. Because uh, after you beat me yesterday a couple of times, I was getting worried. I'm like, Rex is going to take the belt. I was honestly starting to doubt myself. I'm like, oh no, I'm like, what about that other guy? I don't know him yet. I was thinking he was also going to take me out too. And I was like, I, I was dead sick, like, oh, geez. I really thought I was going to lose in this case because I've seen the, uh, I've seen it, I've faced it, and I'm like, hot damn. <laughs> and shit like that. But hot damn, I was expecting to lose, if I'm honest. I don't know the longest reign because if you recall when Spartan held the championship and he held it for uh and you know as long as he held it you know I was expecting that this guy like you know Spartan lost it after holding it so long and so I'm like oh this is gonna be the uh, same case I would have held it so long and lost it but it turns out nope Hey, it was a lot, it was a lot closer than, than I would have expected. 100%. Like, no doubt about it. 
I have a lot of these bigger names following me. Holy shit. But yeah, like, ha, huh, damn. I expect it. Lost that. Especially since during fight night, Apollo hasn't been doing me justice. Like, Apollo has been giving me trouble winning. Like, every time I pull out Apollo against you, I, send, uh, I tend to lose. Like, I expected it nothing less. That's why I was partly worried. I'm like, ah, damn, I got myself, uh, tied up here. There's no doubt about it. But, I'm going to say it, and I'm going to mean it. Because it's the truth. It don't matter what these leaderboards be saying. Even proven here, I am still the reigning, defending, undisputed Fight Night champion we have seen. And like I said to the other guy, those other Fight Nights, they defend maybe once a month and they try to make it too realistic to real boxing. Instead, of, like, and they try to go and make ranking systems and shit like that. No, fuck trying to earn your way up to it and take so long to do it. And having to fight so many people. Hell no, that's just doing too much. That's a way to be, that's, in my eyes, a way to sit back, sit on your ass as champion, have everybody else work so much, learn what they're doing, just to beat them. See how good they are. Just to see, oh, well, they're actually good, and now I'll train. Oh, this guy's style won't beat mine. I don't have to worry about it. That's what that seems like to me. It's just a pussy's way of not having to do nothing. Or it's like you have to defend less. It's like, no, you ain't a champion. You are sitting there in a fake game. Like, the reason why we're able to fight so much with, is because we don't get hurt. It's not real, so we get to fight as much as we want. I don't care about real life stuff. Hell, we come in here every week. Some of us, we hurt our ribs. We, you know, like, we pull muscles. And we still fight. And that's how we do it weekly. And if you were to compare the two, we do the distance we fight weekly. We have the 300 in a very simple way. Like, if you were to think, if we did a fight night every night, you don't know how many fight nights we would have had. We would be in the thousands by now. Easily. Hell, if we did Fight Night a lot more, if we kept the other things around, we'd have so much more to our name. But, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we're doing just fine. But I am tired as hell. I have faced off a fuck it. I faced off too much today. It is now, let's see, an hour 45 minutes I've been on game. I burnt 478 calories today. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else. But that's exhausting. So I myself am going to walk away a 7 week champion undefeated since Fight Night has started on Quest. And I'm going to come back next week and pull off an 8 day stunt. I'm going to keep going until I get beaten. I'm really just focused on trying to be the longest reigning champ. I want, I'm want. i waiting for Spartan or for somebody to tell me who's held the belt longest. And at what time. Otherwise, once I hit 15, because 15 is 3 consecutive months. Well, I, no, 12 would be. 12 fight night uh, wins consecutively would be 4 or it would be three months because we fight night three times or four times a month once every Friday or Saturday and most of the time we have a uh, and most we most of the time there's four weeks every month simple math simple ass shit and I've never heard or seen anyone hold the belt for that long I have only next week will be the full second month of technically holding the belt. Technically. More than likely. I'm pretty sure. Something like that. But regardless, I'm going to end stream, upload that shit, and, and then I'm going to fuck asleep. <laughs> oh no, you good. That...
Oh yeah, that that new guy, I expected nothing more than a half-baked cocky chump coming in. 100%. His uh name, he said it uh he put it up in the uh Discord. He typed it up, but I'm going to let you know of it right now. Uh his tag is a uh, Versace. I'm going to probably I'm probably just going to call him Ace. Or just because it, it's simpler, but you can find it in the Discord from where he said it, and this guy's good. Like, hot damn. I'm looking at his following list, and he's only really followed, like, six people. Like, out of everyone he's faced, I've seen one other person on his list follow, and then whatnot. But no, he don't seem to follow very many people unless he needs to or they're good. So, I mean, shit. I don't think he was ready. I think he's, like, he's been watching our stuff, but I don't think he was, I think he realized watching, it looks easy. You could watch it all day and think you got it. Until you step into that ring, though, once you do... That's when you go and realize, oh shit, this isn't nothing more. This isn't, this isn't none of that. This guy is legit. It's easy after when you watch. It's another story after you're there. So I will call it a seven-time champ, and see y'all next week.